some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Kansas City, Missouri, with a pair of numbskull frauditors that go by the name of uh, Kansas City Accountability and Central Tyrant Investigations, as they attempt to audit the local city hall and end up getting kicked out and physically removed from the uh, Human Resources Department. And they whine, cry, and complain about it and everything like that. So let's go ahead and uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy two grown men act like children. What's good, Casey? Yay! Right back ain't cheating. So y'all, today we decided to come back down to downtown City Hall, Kansas City, Missouri. And I got a surprise for y'all. I got a special guest with me up there coming across. I got CTI, Central Tyrant Investigations, coming all the way from St. Louis to do this with me. Let's go in here and see if they honor and respect. Let's go. These, these are the two idiots we're going to be following today. Uh, on the left is the Central Tyrant Investigations, and on the right is Kansas City Accountability. And, uh, well, they put on a marvelous display of stupidity and arrogance in this video today. So one could hope that if they uh, have children, that they don't pass on this stupidity to the next generation. If they don't, well, maybe they'll win the Darwin Award eventually. Huh? Are you with that other guy? I'm by my I'm by myself. Did yeah. Is it, did he make his way back? That guy's not supposed to be in here. He was here before. And he was told not to come back here. By who? That guy right there? Him? Is he with you? I'm by myself. Oh shit! Oh shit! They're together. I know him. He walked in. No, this is the same guy who he not reporting me. What's wrong she said we weren't supposed to be in here. That's what she, she said they're the same guy that. That's what she said. I'm new to this. I'm just trying to get some uh, public information. So. Michael's not here. Trying to get public information. It's okay. Come on. No, uh, about what you guys do in this uh, department here. Yeah. Well, who do y'all need to speak with? I just spoke with her. I think that's uh, that should suffice. I think okay. she gave me the information I was looking for. Let's walk this way. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's in his pile. Here. Uh, Paulette. 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 tend to think that uh, everything is public. If it has chairs, it's public. If it says public works, then it's public, which public works is simply a uh, uh, branch of the government that uh, deals in uh, infrastructure projects such as bridges and sewer systems. That doesn't mean it's public. It just means it deals with the infrastructure, you morons. Oh, one frauditor even said that if it has a toilet, it's a public entity. I mean, uh, how is that, considering there's a lot of private organizations that have toilets as well? So, are those public? Uh, I mean, come on now, dude. Yeah. She invited us back here, so... Oh, wow, this is like uh, another department with the same <laughs> section. You said I can come back here, right? I mean, she did say follow me, so. Hey, dude, it's the lady right there eating a Chipotle. Hey, dude, mm -hmm. Um. She said follow her. So. She the one that told me to follow her. Yeah, she. Can I have some of y'all snacks? You sure can. Can I get some of y'all snacks? Uh uh. Why can't you got your camera up? Um, I was actually working on something. And, um, okay, you she told me to follow her back. Oh, okay. You told him to follow you so he could talk to someone. Is it, who's in there? Who's in that? Okay, well, they didn't. <laughs> yeah, no, it's fine. Well, we were just invited back here, so that's why I thought we were going to be able to talk to somebody back there, but they closed yeah, no, but the door. Who are you so. trying to talk to? Though? Sorry, ma'am, but, uh, you know, when you talk to a frauder, you might as well be talking to air. But at least air gives you some benefit. It, it provides your body with oxygen and uh, helps your brain out, but frauditors, they tend to rot your brain. No, I was just trying to get, like, information about what you guys did in this department. So, like, nobody, like, specifically, because anybody could answer that, because you all work in here, so. Yeah, but yeah. you have to have, um, 
You can't just come and just say, I want to do this. It has to be arranged. So if you want to speak to someone to in that ask. regard, you have to arrange it, no matter what it is. If you're recording, he's got his camera up, da, 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 da. you can't do that. This is this is the city government, so you can't do that. Well, we can. We can record our, our government officials in the course of their duties. So we're not going to debate about it. It's not a debate. It's it's. We're the, not, not going to debate yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, that's so fine. I, if you don't want to talk about it, that's fine. Yeah, but, so that's what I'm saying. So you can't do that. It's just... Well, we can. It, like, you have your opinion. I have... Uh, the Constitution. Okay, so, it's, okay, it's, so we're going to end. Communication person. Yeah. Do. Okay, that's right. fine. Yeah. Right. So I was asking that lady up, the Paulette. Yeah. yeah. I just asked her the general information. Okay. So. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're, we don't we're, yeah. We don't. Communication person. Right. Okay. We're, that's fine. Yeah. Right, right. But like so, the question I had wasn't like a, a broad question. No, it doesn't it matter. Just, I wouldn't be able to answer your question. Answer so questions like right. You can't answer any questions that the no, public has. No. 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 And would you please take your camera down? From if if somebody asks you to quit you can't. Recording, you, can't. you can't. You can't. I haven't given you permission. But you're a government employee. It doesn't government. matter. Security's on their way. Okay. 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 Yeah, because we're not going to debate about it. Well, I'm not trying to have a debate. I had a you legit are, question. Because I've given you a statement and you keep going back and forth. Ma'am, I told you what I did when I walked in here. This you is can. HR. You can't be you over cannot. here. I can be over here. Okay. Yeah. Shut the door. Yeah, see, there you go. There's your privacy right there. Very rude. Oh, you're calling them rude? Okay, frauditor. Uh, how about you uh, invading their territory, invading their privacy and everything like that? Next thing you want to do is you'll want to invade the privacy of that back room that they just entered. I mean, privacy is meaningless to frauditors anyway, so uh, might as well go ahead and do it. I mean, as I've stated in other videos, you give a frauditor an inch, they'll take a mile. If they've made it this far in, they'll try to push back and uh, push further. You'll never get rid of them. A little longer than a few minutes later. How you doing? You Michael? What? You're Michael? No. Who's Michael? There's lots of Michaels. Around. I don't know. They they called the police or security. We're about security. Okay. Did they call you guys? Okay, and what they say? Uh, okay. Exactly. And you can be in the public building. Exactly. Not all parts of the building are open to the public. Exactly, like the credit union downstairs on the first floor. So you can be in the public parts of the building. You can't go into the private parts. You can't go into the private parts of the building. Exactly. I didn't even so you wouldn't consider this private, would you? This is public here. Once you start getting past doors that can be secured and past reception areas, it's this well, yeah, that's just push. Yeah, they that's a violation. So they just locked it. It was open, and they actually invited us back in that area where the other ladies were working. They didn't want to be recorded. Yeah, dude, of course they didn't want to be recorded. They don't want their faces uh, posted all over YouTube or any other platform uh, for the entertainment of others, which is why there is the YouTube uh, privacy policy, which pretty much means that uh, if somebody contacted these people that you could get a... Uh, privacy strike against your channel if you don't obscure their faces you numb nuts and it's not the first time that it's happened but you know what you can threaten lawsuits all damn day long uh the true fact of the matter youtube is a uh privately owned company which can do what it wants to do in that regard but the lady told us to follow her back there so that's what we did we were actually just staying out in this public area so I'm just trying to talk yeah. to you to investigate. Well, I, that, wouldn't, that wouldn't happen anyways, but <laughs> like I'm just saying, like I was just in the public area there, and then they told us to go back there, and then the other ladies had a problem, which was fine because I already had asked the questions I needed to ask, um, but they were just flipping out back there. So, And one lady was saying he couldn't be in here in this facility, so I was trying to figure out why she would say that. Information and they were trying to give it to us, but then the ladies in the back were freaking out. So, no, she I already talked to uh, Paulette in there. She, I just wanted to know what they did in here. So, and that's it. <laughs> I mean, anybody could have answered that, and she answered it for me. So, and then the other lady told us to go back here, follow her back there. So that's what we did, thinking we were going to talk to somebody else. So, yeah. Where's the brick on my Where's somebody in? 
five minutes later. Okay, so we are now on the 12th floor, Department of Human Resources. Please use intercom. This is secure door badge access only. Now that sign on that door specifically says that it is a secure area, but do they care? No, they're going to claim that uh, it's a public area, even though there are security measures all over the place for that particular door. I mean, frauditors, like I said, don't believe in privacy no matter where it is. Do come through these doors, they be running around, playing shooting dice in the background, eating lunch, playing fart games all day. So then they put these key locks on the doors, which is unacceptable. These are public offices. Be checked and where are you at? So, so what would I need to come into the human resource department for? Well, dude, uh, the human resources department is the one that deals with the hiring and firing, training, and everything like that of the employees of the uh, organization. Uh, yeah, so I'm sure they got that place locked up for a good reason because a lot of critical information in there that uh, frauditors are not supposed to get a hold of. You know, like names, addresses, and everything like that of the employees, especially addresses and, well, social security numbers and everything like that. Oh, that would be a gold mine for uh, somebody like Goat Boy. Uh, when you work, there's only 20 years forward. I am aware that you. I am aware that you can do it online, but you can also do it in person. Well, how rude, guys! I told you this was security. This is secure. We told you that. Hold on, sir. I can be right here. No, you can't. Your job is going to go. You're not allowed to be in. You're not allowed to grab me. You're not allowed to be in. You're not allowed to grab me, sir. Your job is to observe and report. I can't go past that sign right here. You need to go because you can't go past You asked for a business card. I told you what you were allowed to do. You need to leave. Step outside. I need to get her business card as well. Right here. Have a good day. And I need to, I need to get his business card as well. They're all the same. Come on, bro. And Have what a happened good if day. I need to submit a FOIA within this office? You can fill online at KCMO. So the bonehead just walks right in as if he owns the place, which he actually doesn't. He doesn't own that building whatsoever. Even if he did pay taxes, he would still have to abide by the security restrictions. And then there's a the little matter of... Uh, what he said to the security guard. Your job is to observe and report. Uh, yeah, you've been watching way too many other frauditor videos, uh, my man. I mean, that's uh, quite a bit of a piece of bullshit right there that I know Sean Paul Reyes put out there quite a bit. Seeing as how you can visit any career website and see that a security uh, guard's job is much more complicated than that. Uh, but I do realize that you frauditors are incapable of telling the truth or even reading uh, properly for that matter. I mean, it's only natural. I mean, you guys are born losers and high school dropouts, criminals and everything like that. So there is no, there, let me, let me, because I've been back here listening. There's no set like standard of how to do a FOIA. You can do it. They actually prefer it in writing. Um, that's why we submit it in person. We're telling you what you need to do. Well, I was just, sir, I'm just trying to, trying to talk to you reasonably. Like I'm trying to be. Explain to you what you need to do for what you're asking. So you guys are a department, human resources. What are you guys in charge of? We've explained to you what you need. To I did. I didn't hear. I'm asking you, what are you in charge of? Human resources. It also says right here. And I said I was going to open the door and give you a business card, and then you could stay outside. So you didn't do that. What if you had a sign right there saying no black people? I can't come in. That's a completely different. Thing. It is the same thing. You, anybody type that up, like you just type that up and print it. You can go outside. It's time to go. So the public can't come in here at all. If you have business, we take but care of you out in the lobby. We do have so why would you? I have a question. Uh, it's a legit question. Why would you have that sign behind you that says authorized personnel only? That's also uh -huh. authorized personnel. So correct. That means we can't go past door that point. You, no, it's not. You can go outside. This now. door. Frauditor, frauditor, uh, how many times do you have to be told that 
you're not welcome in this office. I mean, there are two signs out here that pretty much say that you're not allowed to be in here. But hell, signs don't mean anything to frauditors. That's just uh, an unconstitutional uh, display right there. I mean, to them anyway. I mean, to everybody else, it's just common damn sense that there would be restricted areas. Have a good day. You have a good day. Have a good day. All right, man. Have a good day. You, 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 he, he, he don't want to save you guys. Have a good day. <laughs> Nobody say no, yes, Have a good day. Yes, sir. We'll see you soon. It's about being professional, though, so yeah. just be professional, man. I'm just trying to. No, you were not professional to me. I hadn't talked to you the whole time. <laughs> Your job is to observe and report. You're a security guard, bro. You're a security guard. Security guard. And you touch me again, I'm going to defend myself, bro. You're a security guard. You got a visitor's badge on. You are a visitor, man. That's from a different building. Yeah, you can't put your hands on nobody. Observe and report. Once again, dude, you may want to pull your head out of your ass and uh, take a look at uh, some career websites as far as uh, security guards go because their job is much more complicated than uh, your small mind can comprehend. You a security guard, bro. You don't put your hands on nobody. Your job was to observe and report. Where your quarters at? You're supposed to call the police if you got an issue. You don't grab your hands on them. That's not your job. That's not your job. So, like, you approached him whenever he walked in there. You guys are fine out here. I'll talk with you all day. Here. But the, the thing is, the public's allowed to go in there. He just said, if the public has business, this is free press. This is uh, under, covered under the First Amendment. Not, we have a I'm right not, to. I'm not disputing. No, we're not disputing. I'm just trying to let you know how it works. <laughs> like, I'm just trying to let you know how it works. The public, there's a sign that's that right there that says authorized personnel only. So that lets me know, as is, that the public can go in there. They just can't go past that sign right there. And yet you completely ignore the sign on the door that says this is a secured area. Talk about selective reasoning, dude. I mean, that sign that you read just supports the fact that that is a secured area beyond the original door, you moron. And when I did try to talk to him, he was very, you know, condescending. And he wasn't trying to answer my questions. So just a little bit more professionalism will go a long way. So there are like restricted areas within this building, but they would have to say like restricted area, like authorized personnel only, things like that. But just because there's a sign in the intercom doesn't technically mean we can't go in there and receive service. It just means to let somebody know that we're there. Are you stupid or something? Nothing's going on. This is where the student, well, what I know, the student teaches the English came out to the You said they. Did I step foot in there? Well, he, he followed me. I apologize for that. I missed it. This is someone falling back in there. They were dealing with him in there, so I told them they had to leave back out here in the public area. Okay. And, this is probably and I was just trying to let them know there is public area inside of there. We can go in there and ask for service. There's a sign. I suspect these frauditors have a. Uh, uh, operational defiance disorder. I mean, they see a sign that says that they can't go in and they've got to, uh, well, disobey it and, uh, well, turn it around and say, oh, this sign right here, it may say that we uh, can't go in there, but secretly it actually says we can go in there. Yeah, what a load of bullshit. We can go in there. <laughs> This is a public building. They only put that there because they don't be at their desk. I asked them why they got it there. They have restricted areas only because that's the reason why the building is secure. You can't restrict the public. Come on. You can. That's why they have this right here. It's, 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 but, but, but why is that sign right there? They let you know. I mean, that's that. once they let you in, then you can't go beyond that because they may tend to you. So, question. Why would they let us in? I'm sorry? At, why would they let us in? If you have... If you have a, an appointment, or so for general questions, you don't need an appointment for. 
So to fill out a FOIA, you don't need question, you don't need an appointment for. Right, that's why this is. Correct. Here. That's there for security purposes. If right. nobody so knows. We get to talk to them. And well, you can't them. really hear through that. So like this, this, is, this is our this is our methods. Yeah, yeah. But the professional way would have been for him to even come out here if like we couldn't hear what he had to right, say. Right, but then when you open the door, then people have access to that area, which they're trying to restrict people from going so into. So why would that sign be there? I swear it's useless talking to frauditors that are this freaking stupid. I mean, there are buildings that have secure areas, public buildings that have secure areas in them. What is so difficult to comprehend about that concept, dude? I mean, does your brain not work properly? But at any rate, guys, I mean, uh, I'm just going to end the video right here. Uh, they eventually get their FOIA requests, but they don't end up going back into that office again. No matter how much they whined, cried, or complained, it doesn't happen. So, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?